Would you please state your name for the court? It will be the Porky Pig. What's the matter? Are you nervous? I'm uh, 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 not nervous. You sure sound nervous. This is what I always do. Maybe you're nervous because you're lying. But I'm not. Maybe you're lying because you don't want us to know your true identity. And the reason you don't want us to know your true identity is because you, sir, are the litterer. <gasps> And a collective gasp fills the courtroom. Are we done here? Are you not wearing pants? Where's the gift shop? Please state your name for the court. Bugs Bunny. Mr. Bunny, where were you on the night of November 10th? Uh, I'm not sure. But uh, didn't this happen in the daytime on June 5th? Aha! And how would you know that if you were not guilty of this heinous crime? Ladies and gentlemen, here is your litterer. Daffy, just paid the fine. Hostile witness! Oh, you called this hostile? This is not hostile. If you want hostile, I'll give you hostile. Objection! Overruled! That's what I say! What? Overruled! Sustained! Keep this up, and I'll hold you both in contempt of court. I apologize for my friend, your highness. Now, if I may. What do we know? The piece of litter in question? A can of soda. So, it would fit that the litterer must like soda. It may surprise the court to learn that I, Daffy Duck, despise soda. <gasps> is anyone even listening here? The point is, I can't possibly be the litterer, because I don't like soda. And if the soda gets spit, you must acquit! Order! You are both held in contempt and will be placed in jail immediately! Bailiff, take them away! What I missed? There were three seconds left, and everyone knew I was taking the last shot. Hi, I'm a, 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 a Porky Pig. Yeah, that's great. I'm Daffy Duck, the guy who didn't ask. Now beat it. Now where was I? Oh, right. So I get the ball, the clock starts ticking. Three, two, nothing but net. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Do what? I'm hosting a Bobby the Bachelor auction for charity, and I asked a Bobby the Bugs to be in it. What am I, invisible? I'm the most eligible bachelor here. What's the charity? A Bobby the Literacy. That's my favorite charity. There's too much literacy in the world. We need to fight against literacy. Uh, the Daffy. Bobby the fight is for literacy. What? Who's for literacy? Our highways and byways are covered in litter. I, for one, think it should be a crime. Littering is a crime. You went to jail for it. Literacy is the ability to read and write. Oh, then count me in. O N N. <sighs> should I buy a new TV or should I buy one of those massage chairs? Huh, tough life. What are you wearing? Mall pants. What kind of pants? Mall pants. Pants you wear at the mall as a sign of respect. So why aren't you wearing a shirt? Too much respect. It's the mall, not church. Also, I can't afford a shirt. I suppose I could buy the TV and just go somewhere for a massage. Whoa. Uh -oh. My mall pants! You know what? I'm just gonna buy both. <laughs> no mall underwear, huh? I say this is the opening scene of the movie where I say goodbye to my wonderful mama forever. And she's gonna say her line, and then you break down and cry like a baby, just like I did. I say, I say, action! Son, I say, son, remember what I always told you. It's not the treasure, it's the quest. 
Cry! Your mama's gone! Boo-hoo-hoo, man! I'm crying so hard! I say, I say, look at how hard I cry! <laughs> Don't say it, son! Do it! <laughs> You're laughing? I don't know. I'm grasping at straws here. I mean, she's not giving me anything. Can't somebody get me a real actress to work with? You heard him. Somebody help that woman out of that bed so we can put a real actress in it. And now, here's your host with the most, Chuck Barros. Hey, hey, thanks, everybody. Let's meet our contestants. First up, Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. What's up, Doc? It's a pleasure to be here, Chuck. I'm a big fan. Tell me, how long have you two known each other? 17 years. Five years. <laughs> Looks like you two better get on the same page. <laughs> and now, let's meet your challengers. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, after you. Oh, no, after you. No, after you, I insist. I insist more. I have an idea. Do you always have good ideas? I can hardly wait to hear. Well, you won't have to wait. I'm about to tell you. Oh, goody. My idea is that we both speak simultaneously. Wonderful idea. Hello. Hello. Bugs and Daffy, looks like you've got some stiff competition. Okay, here's the first question. What is your roommate's favorite vegetable? Your favorite vegetable? Hmm. I'm gonna go with beef, Chuck. Uh-oh, the correct answer was carrots. You know what that means. <laughs> Challengers? Your favorite vegetable? Well, I know he loves cauliflower. Guilty. I do love cauliflower. But he has been known to ask for seconds when I make sweet potatoes. You really must try his sweet potatoes. They are divine. But if I had to pick his favorite vegetable, I would have to say pureed butternut squash in a balsamic reduction with just a hint of clover. That's correct. I knew you'd get that right. Well, I knew that you knew I'd get that right. Do you have any fours? Daffy, we're playing chess. Ah. Uh. Was it Colonel Snow in the pantry? with a candlestick. Do you even know how to play chess? Of course I do. <gasps> Jim! Name? Daffy Duck. Crime? Contempt of court? Name? Bugs Bunny. Crime? Well, some might say being too good looking. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Contempt of court. Oh, no. I'm gonna be swimming in this. Do you have a belt or a sash? I'm about to meet a ton of new people, and I'd rather not look like a big fat traffic cone. See what I mean? That's a lot of orange. Are you nerds enjoying the cake? It's stupendous. Yum. Is it able to that really on you? No. It's on you! <laughs> Daffy Duck! Daffy Duck! Daffy Duck! Daffy Duck! Ooh, I bet Porky's not going to the reunion. But you were a big man on campus. Why wouldn't you want to go? Look at my life now. I live in a dump. No offense. I have a stupid roommate. No offense. And I've piled up tons of credit card debt. No offense. Why would I take offense to that? Because I used your credit card. The point is, I peaked in high school. At least you got to go to high school. You didn't go to high school? Let's just say my youth was unconventional. What was so unconventional about your youth? It's not important. My unconventional, incomparable, inimitable youth is not important. What is important is that you attend this reunion. Why do you want me to go to my reunion so bad? Because you can. Don't you see? You have the opportunity to do something I can only dream of. 
Stand around with people you barely remember. Reminiscing about the big game. Senior prom. Homework. You're weird. All right. Now, son, in that box, I say in that box, you believe is the Burmese turtle. It's what you've wanted your whole life. Now, after you say your line, you will start running, which will be my cue to press this button, causing an elaborate chain reaction, which will destroy the entire set. So we only have one shot at this. Are you ready? I was born ready. Let's shoot this, you turkeys! Action! I say, I say, the Burmese turtle is mine! Quick question, when's lunch? Uh -oh. job application. Name? Address? Gender? What is this, Soviet Russia? Yeah, I don't want to work here anyway. Not in that stupid uniform. I'll take a banana split. Oh, one scoop vanilla, one scoop chocolate, one scoop strawberry. Oh, put the strawberry in the middle. And now hot fudge. Only on the vanilla and chocolate. Put regular fudge on the strawberry. Now some whipped cream. Hey, 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 easy. Little more, little more, little more only on the vanilla. Kind of fill in that space right there. Stop. Now some nuts. Oh, no nut dust. Now this is the complicated part. No green sprinkles on the chocolate. Yes, green sprinkles on the strawberry but both no red sprinkles, except on the vanilla, which should receive exclusively red sprinkles. That'll be 585. I've only got 16 cents. Get the rest from your tip jar. Next question. What is your best friend's middle name? <laughs> That's an easy one. Sheldon. Armando? Uh, you know what that means. <laughs> Bugs and Daffy, you've got some catching up to do. And you're gonna have a chance after the break. Daffy, your middle name is Sheldon. That may be true, but Armando sounds cooler. Well, do you wanna sound cool or do you wanna win? I wanna win! <laughs> well, then we need a new strategy. In the next round, whatever you're about to say, say the opposite. That's a great idea. I mean, that's a horrible idea. Hello, competitors. Hello. We wanted to wish you luck. Thanks. Don't you want to wish us luck? Not particularly. I'll wish you luck. Why, thank you, and good luck to you as well. <laughs> Welcome back to Besties, the show about best friends. Remember, say the opposite. Tell me, who does your best friend most admire? I want to say me, but I guess I'll go with Groucho Marx. That's correct. I was going to say, take your daughter to work day, but instead I'll say Thanksgiving. Correct. Everything in me is saying rockabilly, but I'll go with smooth jazz. Correct! My gut says chocolate milk, but I'm gonna go with Australia. Correct! This final question is worth 300 points. What is your best friend's catchphrase? If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. No, no. It's laugh and the world laughs with you. Uh-oh. You know what that means. Oh, feathers. Oh, what fun. It's like a pillow fight. <laughs> Bugs and Daffy, now you have a chance to win. Daffy, what is Bugs Bunny's catchphrase? Hmm, think. Catchphrase. Really? 
I say it all the time. I know this. I know this. It's sort of my go-to phrase. It's right on the tip of my tongue. It's in the form of a question. I say it with a lot of sarcasm. And... I don't do Mondays. Ooh, I'm sorry. We were looking for... What's up, Doc? And... Say it with me. You know what that means! Unbelievable! I Wait, I'm out of here. I'm done. You blew the entire stunt. Way to go, turkey. I'm a rooster! Union guys. Well, you win some, you lose some. Gotta know when to hold them, when to fold them. Four score in seven years. You know what I mean? Are you quitting on me, son? Everybody else quit, so I quit. Mob mentality. I guess I was wrong about you, son. What's that supposed to mean? Roosters are loyal. Roosters never quit. Roosters, I say roosters, fight to the end. And son, you are no rooster. Did you just call me a no rooster? What are you going to do about it, huh, son? I say, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> So when's this reunion again? It's tonight. What? What have you been doing this whole time? I guess I'm not going to my reunion. We've got to go. I mean, you've got to go. And there's still something you can do to impress everyone at the reunion. And it's not destroy the ice. Then what is it? I'm ruining my manicure. Give me your quarter. I'm starting to think the odds of winning the lottery are pretty low. <gasps> Three sixes? Three sixes! I won! I won the lottery! I'm rich! We can go to your reunion! I mean, you can go to your reunion! I'm so happy for you! Happy and jealous! Mostly jealous! <laughs> I'm rich! I'm rich! I knew I didn't peak in high school! Daffy, you didn't get three sixes. You were holding it upside down. You got three nines. Besides, you are playing lucky eights. <laughs> this is hopeless. Excuse me, do you have a quarter for the parking meter? No. But you're holding a quarter. What, this? This isn't a quarter. That's not a quarter? No, this is a fake. I'm Agent Jimmy Glass, and this is Agent Ira Bunnells, and we're with the Treasury Department. We're investigating a highly illegal counterfeit operation in the area. I'm gonna need to see your wallet. Oh, uh, of course. Yep, this one looks a little iffy. Gonna have to run some tests. Now get out of here. But keep your eyes and ears open. That's it. I thought in order to go to the reunion, you needed to be someone you're not. A success. But it turns out, you should just go with someone you already are. A liar. You want me to go to the reunion and just lie about how successful I am? That's a horrible idea. I'm lying. It's a great idea. Or was that a lie? This lying could get out of control. Or is that a lie? The lying is in control. Oh, brother. Well, after high school, I just had to get away from it all. Get back to what's important, the land. I've got about 30,000 acres in Montana. Probably about 50,000 head of cattle. That's about two heads of cattle per acre. Yeah. I love a cattle drive. Too much spitting. I signed up after graduation. I heard the call of duty, and I answered. Oh, this? What you call heroism? I call duty. Believe me, when you're doing your duty, you don't think about the fact that you're doing your duty. It's your duty. You just do it. You do your duty. Too much saying the white duty. I'm Batman. Uh, our next bachelor is... Daffy Duck. Let's keep this money train rolling, ladies. Daffy has no job. And no education. 
And a, a credit score of in, 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 negative 13. Uh, let's start the bidding at uh, $50. <coughs> Anyone? It's for uh, the, the charity. Tax deductible. Gross. Uh, well, we tried. All right, next fashion. Too big. Sold. Excellent work, Giuseppe. How's work at the ice cream shop? It was fine until some junk came in and ordered the world's most complicated banana split. Hey, I like what I like. <laughs> Whoop, back on the ladder, Giuseppe. You missed that spot. Uh uh uh. Not on the chair. It's calfskin. Uh uh. That's ivory. Well, where am I supposed to put it? Why don't you put it back on and make us dinner? And try not ruining it like you did breakfast! Gaffy Duck, picking up my business cards. How's the wizard business going? Great, lots of magic, spells, things like that. That'll be two fifteen twenty-five. That seems awfully high. Price reduce, reduce. I thought the gang could use some snacks, courtesy of yours truly. How thoughtful! Mm -hmm. Thanks, Daffy. I took a 20 out of your wallet. Daffy, you're the best! We couldn't ask for a more generous team, Captain. There's more where that came from. There's more where that came from, right? Oh, oh, oh guess what? It's time for me to assign everyone their weekly nicknames. Ooh, this is my favorite part. Porky? Your nickname tonight, The Porkinator. Pete, your nickname, The Petonator. Oh, I like it. Uh, the Daffy? Hold on. Marvin, your nickname? The Marvinator? Nope. The, uh, 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 okay, yeah, The Marvinator. Uh, Daffy? I said hold on, The Porkinator. And finally, since I am the team captain, my nickname will be the Grand Poobah. Wait. Make that Poobah the Grand. Porky, I changed my mind. You're player four. 